Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Ryan back in with another video and today we're going to be going back and doing the pack and play that you all wanted to see so much. As you can see, we're on another account. We have 90k, which is just enough to open, you know, 10 packs. But we're going to go ahead and open up 11 just because I lost track and you know what? Who cares? One extra pack to start off the team. It's a little bit hard to get enough players to actually start your team. So we're just going to go ahead and open up 11. And uh, this is pre-recorded. Everything, I already know what I'm going to pull. So... I'm going to go a little bit slow in the openings because I was actually looking through and deciding what I wanted to do. Uh, the main thing I want to go through is I need to figure out a better um, way to open up packs for when I win games. Uh, I know you guys really like the series and I was just incapable of continuing it on my main account considering I was in such a high uh, division, high league, whatever you want to call it, my um, whatever I was in. Uh, there's so many 99 overall teams and there's so many good cards right now that it's hard to find uh, a game where I'm actually able to win. So starting off in, you know, rookie second string, I'll be able to win a lot more games and build my team up. So when I get to the higher ranks, I'll be able to win that. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and finish this off until Madden 15 comes out. Just something I'll have as a consistent upload uh, so you guys can continue watching my videos. And it actually gives me a way to, you know, upload things that are, you know, fresh and new for me at least. Because there's nothing else in the game that's even worth uploading. I mean, uh, I could be doing normal head-to-head -head gameplays, but I mean, my channel is mainly focused on Mutt. I don't think you guys want to see ranked gameplays. Um, I do enjoy playing ranked gameplays and unranked games against my friends and stuff like that. Uh, so if that is an option, maybe you do want to see ranked games here and there. I could do that. Uh, but other than that, I think like pack openings looking for Barry and Jerry. I could do that consistently, and I could do this pack and play consistently. So I think this is what I'll be doing for now until the remainder of uh, Madden 25, which is, we have about a month. We have almost exactly a month until Madden 15 comes out, and I'm really looking forward to playing that, and, you know, just my ideas and stuff are very, very uh, fruitful, I guess, <laughs> uh, for what I want to do for Madden 15. So uh, we're going to go ahead and open up these packs, and you can see that some of the cards, I'm actually getting decent pools, um, cards that I can use for my team, and I think what I want to do is for the pack and play, um, as soon as I was done with the video, I decided, you know, why should I just, why do I have to use the jerseys and the playbooks and the stadiums and stuff that I pull? Uh, I should be able to use whatever I want for that. I mean, it's not like, it's not important that I use the first things I pull. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and rock with like jerseys that I like to see and a, a decent playbook because it's going to help me win games instead of getting stuck with like the 49ers playbook or you know, maybe like the Chiefs defensive playbook, like something random like that. Who wants to use that playbook? So um, definitely, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use whatever playbook I want to use in jerseys and stadium, which whatever is visually appealing for videos. Uh, so as you can see, our first quarterback, I think that was our first quarterback, Eli Manning. Um, that's one of the two quarterbacks I do pull in this pack and play upload or a pack and play um, opening, I'm trying to say. So we're definitely going to have to get a better quarterback very soon. You'll see who I pull. Daniel Manning, though. I was really pumped up to see I got a 96-speed player. Um, definitely going to be helping me out a lot in coverage. I know most of my players in my previous pack and play were very slow. I think I had um, uh, Morris Claiborne, and I had Tommy Campbell, which was decently fast, 93-speed, but his man coverage was like 60. Uh, then I had like um, Rodney McLeod, bronze card was like 82-speed in safety. So it was just kind of hard if I got you know, thrown on deep. I was going to give up a touchdown. I couldn't really do anything about it. Um, and right here we have a 94 speed running back with 75 carry. I was thinking like, oh my god, Darrell Scott's fast, but I'm going to be fumbling way too much. Uh, so I definitely have to get a better running back as well. But I think it was a solid pack opening. I, I think I got a lot better cards than I did last time. And I think I'm going to have a lot more fun, uh, you know, building my team and stuff like that. Because I think the rookie second string, I'm going to find a lot of people with similar overalls to me. Not like super, super low, but, you know, players that I could actually beat and then build my team throughout the way so there's our second quarterback we get Aaron Rodgers um I didn't even notice it real like for real when I was opening up the packs I was just seeing the David DeCastro and I'm like oh Aaron Rodgers and I was pretty happy about that I mean Aaron Rodgers top 100 isn't terrible uh he does have some decent accuracy which is all about for a pack and play you need to have accuracy with your quarterback and then eventually maybe you'll open up a good player like I'm hoping to open up like an ultimate legend uh you know John Elway or, or something crazy like that so it'll be a lot easier for me to, you know, win games and stuff. If I have a good quarterback and a good running back, I should be able to win games. No problem. Uh, that's my main uh, problem with my last one. I had, you know, rookie Walter Payton with his slow ass. And uh, we finally got Silver Michael Vick. He was fun to play with, but 
he just fumbles way too much, and it was just really hard to get used to with him. And we got Denario Alexander, a 6'5 receiver. I'm very happy about that as well. Someone that will have sure hands, uh, at least for uh, the overall that I'll be going with. 86 catching traffic is pretty good in comparison to what I had before. Uh, so definitely I'm um, looking forward to using him. And I think we do get another really good pull here in a minute. There's our starting running back, Doug Morton. Uh, <laughs> it definitely needs to upgrade that. Uh, we need to definitely open up another pack and get something better. Um, I'm not too sure what I want to do with all these collectibles that I've been opening. Uh, I don't know if I should save them and then sell them, or maybe I should even go with a, uh, way to, like, if I sell enough cards and I have enough to open up a pack, uh, I can open up a pack or something like that. I don't know. If you guys can think of some good rules I should go with, let me know. As of right now, I think what I want to do is what I said in the previous pack and play, where if I win a game, if I win by seven, I open up one pack. Uh, you know, seven or less, I open up one pack. If I, if I win by 14 or more, um, or 14, 14 to seven, uh, I guess 14 to eight, I open up two packs. If I win, you know, just based off of how many scores I win by. So if I win by one score, seven, two scores, I open up, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Uh, we get Jordy Nelson right here. Uh, what I'm trying to say is if I, if I win by one score, I open up one, two scores, I open up two, three scores, I open up three, four, four, you know, five, five, just stuff like that. I think that's how I should do it to ensure that I get some better players with each victory that I get um, and then, you know, move on from there. So I think that was the pack opening right here. My next video will be the lineup update with all my cards and then the first uh, gameplay. So hopefully you guys enjoy this series. I'm going to try to do it as much as I can and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.